My work right now is involved principally with understanding the fuel emission of electrons, understanding how electrons get pulled out of materials into a vacuum, into a gas. We mostly worry about vacuum. Fuel emitter array is comprised usually of a surface that's got either some kind of protrusion on it, a bump. The arrays we study, and this is keep it simple, we study arrays that are a flat surface with a structure that looks kind of like a, a cylinder or a hair on it. The way they work is that you apply a large electric field to that, and that electric field rips electrons out of it. Every physical quantity has got to have some equation that describes it, and field emitters are described by the Fowler-Nordheim equation. The Fowler-Nordheim equations really will tell us if you have a plasma, put in an electric field environment, it'll tell you how many electrons are going to come off that plasma. So it tells you what, how plasmas, and not just plasmas, but other materials, it tells you how they react to an electric field. Most plasmas like the sun or in a neon sign or um, in a flame, uh, they're neutral plasmas in the sense you have just as many positive charges as negative charges. The kind of plasmas we study are a little bit different. We study what people might call non-neutral plasmas. So we look at plasmas that are really just electrons, or almost only electrons, so they're very much not charge neutral. So we're studying beams and clouds and gases of electrons. So field emitter arrays actually have a lot more applications than people realize. Um, they're used in a lot of communications electronics. So you might find a field emitter array uh, source on a satellite, transcontinental radars, have field emission cathodes. You might see them in these large screen TVs and don't even know you're seeing them. One use that's being looked at right now at University of North Carolina Chapel Hill is for advanced mammography. They can detect tumors down to a much smaller size than before. So even though I work for the Air Force, the main application it may someday help has nothing to do with the Department of Defense. It'll find its way into the medical industry and probably save women's lives. What advice would I give students interested in this research? The advice I would give would be if it's something that excites you, not just this research, but any kind of research, if it's something you find exciting and interesting, you should really pursue it because you're learning. And if you're always learning, you're probably always excited. And so you want to find something you're excited in and pursue that as hard as you can.